koristimo na dnevnoj bazi. Znači mi stvarujemo svaki dan sam. Da, dole u malim ekranima su sobe koje se vide. Da, da, uvijek je kod nas, u ministarstvu financija zanimljivo. Dobro. Nećemo otkrivati ništa kolegama prije nego što premijer dođe, tako da... Da, da, da. Nije uobičajeno za gore Washington State. A kod nas? Pa dobro, danas je bilo, ajde. Danas je bilo lijepo. Danas je bilo prilično lijepo, da. Onako, baš kao sjeverna Kalifornija. Idem na vrijeme. Ali svoj dio vi tek sad trebate odraditi. Like this, I can take my presentation and I can annotate 
So now, when I talk about the classroom or in healthcare, I can annotate and everyone can see the annotation very clearly. Okay. I also have a document camera in the room here. So with the document camera, I can also bring in objects that I want to speak about here. So let me power on the document camera. I have one up in the ceiling over here. So now I could share information very easily with people. So I can, I can bring up experts from the field. I can bring in students when necessary. I can bring in guest speakers. Very, very clear. So it's a combination of all these technologies that we can combine to create a very powerful experience. It's a my to base. So this is a, so this is an example of what we call a boardroom experience. But we have a we have a portfolio of devices that go from this size room to single screen units to smaller single screen units to desktop units so you can actually replace your monitor, your phone, and, and a video device with one device and then all the way down to software that runs on an iPad, an Android tablet, or a phone. So I could join this meeting just like this, or I could join it from a telepresence room or anything in between. So when you think about students who would have a laptop, they could join and be participate in this meeting while we're on a high-end boardroom type system. Uh, they could be at home coming in over their broadband connection on a tablet. Um, you can you can leverage it for healthcare for education any expertise that you want to deliver to we talked about citizen services earlier mm -hmm. so you want to deliver citizen services to the citizen where they are as opposed to having them come to you then you can create those types of service opportunities as well so okay. the the application of this is immense and candidly our customers and uh, governments around the world they bring us applications that we haven't thought of yet whether it's uh, one of our customers a few years ago in the judicial space, they do uh, arraignment of criminals. The initial arraignment is done mm -hmm. over video as opposed to transporting them to the courtroom. You got the cost, you got the risk, you got all those things that get mitigated and the arraignment actually happens like this. So lots of different applications. Yes, uh, any comments? Uh, absolutely, because because just in, in, in some of the Eastern European countries, uh, by the way, we have we have an example in um, in Slovakia, which mm -hmm. in general similar size country, our population is relatively the same. So they, uh, the I think, uh, um, Minister Mornar, this is going to be dear dear to your heart because basically they've connected many of their universities through telepresence systems and uh, as well as an entire collaboration platform. So they don't only cooperate amongst themselves, but now they have become uh, uh, also experts in, in terms of some of some of the some of the engineering content that we teach through the networking academies, and now they are actually mentoring uh, universities in Africa, but also also in the United States, and they deliver uh, education through these systems. Uh, for that, they collect probably some uh, financial re remuneration, and also and also their professors are becoming much more ex uh, expert, and they are building connections across across the globe through not only our Netting Academy programs, but also the entire collaboration platform that we have built uh, for them. Some of the, some of the, the great examples of, of, of usage of, uh, of, of such technologies is especially for governments who have distributed uh, geographic landscape, like, like for example, Croatia can be perceived. Diplomacy, for example. Or diplomacy, absolutely. And, 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 and basically, we have, imagine uh, in, uh, uh, now it's like it's been, uh, Sometime after that, you joined the, the European Union, and and one of one of the biggest issues in, in in Eastern Europe, across Eastern Europe, is how to leverage European funds better. And for that, there is a very very complex process of application, monitoring, controlling, etc. And uh, for example, in in various agricultural uh, agricultural funds, we are we are recommending the governments to utilize some of these systems, smaller ones, single screen ones. Because you have you have a, um, let's say a local farm uh, in Varaždin or in Brač or, or somewhere who, who, who needs to get access to uh, to expertise which is maybe sitting in Zagreb. So you need to have this uh, this dialogue to be to be absolutely coordinated, and and you have the local government offices potentially equipped with such an equipment, 
and there is a there is a dialogue going on between the parties, which will result in, in better fulfillment of the documentation. We realize the benefits through banking, where, where, where some of the the, the, the unreachable people were sitting in, in Wall, Wall Street, but you still have investors somewhere in Kansas City, and they need to talk to each other. But, but the same uh, example applies to government as well. Um, and that's that's basically the, I mean, you see the highest end today, but, uh, but that, that's the that's the vision we have. Yeah, you, see, you see, in uh, as an example, in retail banking, uh, you'll, instead of having a mortgage expert in every branch, you'll have a mortgage expert remote that'll come in over video to 10 branches. So from a productivity perspective for the business, being able to deliver the right expertise throughout, and that applies to almost any industry. So, uh, so that's, that's the technology that is at the crux of a lot of what we do relative to, uh, to, to really the productivity shift in companies, countries, etc. is very directly tied to this portfolio. Uh, emergency medicine dispatchers, do you know, has there been any applications? No, no, uh, no, we, we can actually ask some of the questions because we'll, we'll probably we'll start off here in just a second. The, the, exactly. Yeah. In, in the two minutes. What, one of the things we have done is we have used this technology, uh, for example, uh, with our uh, network emergency response vehicle. Uh, there was a, a major earthquake in Sichuan, China. We deployed our Cisco vehicle out there that was satellite based. There was no infrastructure in Sichuan. It was all wiped out by the earthquake. So we had, with our satellite-based communications, used this technology to do triage from Beijing into Sichuan. We've used it in uh, the aftermath of Katrina, the hurricane that hit the United States. We've used it. Uh, it's got. It's in the middle of battlefields for people to. We've set up connections for soldiers to be able to interact over video with their families remotely. If you have patients in hospitals who are quarantined, you can actually have these in the room that serves as a television as well as a video monitor, so at least their family can interact with them even though they can't go in the room. You've got doctors who need to have a consultation, but they don't need to be physically present, but they always show up, right? So being able to, to come in and have a quick chat, you got patients at home that, that just want that five-minute conversation with a doctor because it makes them feel better. Uh, so the applications are just limitless. So are we supposed to immerse ourselves into this? <laughs> you already have. To indulge ourselves? That's right. Any, cheer, any news to cheer us up? Boys, huh. how was Washington? How was Washington? Um, very, very, very busy day today. So, uh, now we are preparing our budget. And when our Prime Minister come back, uh, uh, I will have to surprise him with figures. You mean cheer me up or yeah. press me? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We will see. Well, hope. Okay, hope. okay. Can hope we allocate we this home and go to for this purpose? <laughs> what was that? I didn't hear. Have, have, have you allocated some of the budget for this purpose? Uh, okay, we have to budget it for 2015, but uh, definitely if we can use it, this technology, uh, we could definitely uh, increase our productivity. But uh, for uh, for the first, it's a cost. But in the long term, it's definitely some kind of savings. But uh, we have to have in any in any project, you have an economy of scale in using this 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 tool. And if we have an economy of scale for this, uh, <laughs> yes. we just have to find some way to overcome this cost part. But yeah. Okay. But initially, it's a cost. But I would like to see return on investment. The, po but, banker, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the power of this system is is directly uh, proportional to the number you have, right? If you, yeah. you get the productivity effect and network effect based on a full build out. You know, you get a couple of them and they're valuable, but it really has to be at scale. And, uh, so, all right. Well, we have one more. We're going to show you. I think some connect up here, though. Uh, we're going to go to our back dish bowl okay. talk about collaboration. Okay. Okay. Good. So. Very good. Thank so, you for joining us. You. Stay for a while. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.
Evo, moram priznati da je stvarno impresivno, evo, kad znamo da je i vremensku razliku između nas i Sjedinje američkih država i kada vidite ovaj način komunikacije koji smo odvijali gdje se, da se zapravo uopće nije primijetilo da, se, da, da je tolika razlika i vremenska i, i da ima nekakvih šumova u komunikaciji. Moram priznati da je nove tehnologije na ovaj način povezuju ljude, a kako ih možemo koristiti i uštediti to je sada na nositeljima svih ajmo reći menadžerskih funkcija ovo se dosta koristi u korporativnom sektoru ali svakako je vrlo interesantno i za javnu upravu, jer je ono što mi želimo da novim tehnologijama a, a, postanemo efikasnija efikasnija javna uprava. To je onaj cilj svake vlade. E sad kako mi ovo možemo prezentirati i koristiti na primjer u medicini, u školstvu, gdje znamo da su na najveći troškovi ovaj, u tom dijelu. Evo to su dvoje kolega ministara koji su tamo preko puta ovaj, zajedno sa predsjednikom vlade. Ja se nadam da će oni donijeti nekakva pozitivna iskustva, a onda je na nama da je to implementiramo. Jesmo li spremni zato s obzirom na stanje naših financija? Pa da, upravo, upravo, ovaj, upravo u tom smjeru i trebamo ići koristiti nove tehnologije da budemo brži i produktivni. Znači cijelo vrijeme smo govorili nismo za linearna rezanja, ali smo za, za, za stvarno korištenje da damo uslugu našim građanima ovaj, da bude takozvana online usluga. U tome ono što trebamo težiti u Europi i po doing biznisu nas gledaju ne koliko smo zrezali trošku, nego koliko smo brzo izdali nekakvu dozvolu, koliko smo brzo reagirali na nekakvu, na nekakvu situaciju, a mi se nam tu tehnologije pomažu. Znači to može biti vin vin situacije i sa troškovne strane, a sa to, sa svakako i sa strane povećanja i efikasnosti javne uprave. Mnogo je kritika ovih dana na put premijera. Što vi kažete na sve te kritike? Znamo da imamo ljude, imamo li mi uvjete za primiti ovako nešto? Da, evo, mi smo ovaj, vidjeli da smo radili nekakve određene projekte, vidjeli ste projekt fiskalizacije koji su odrađali naši IT stručnjaci u Hrvatskoj. Vidite da sada su vrlo jako zainteresirani za njih Češka Republika, Slovačka, Slovenci, Mađari. Imamo sada i regionalni sastanak za fiskalizaciju i da su ga proizvasili možda jednim od boljih u Europi. Također imali smo centralni obračun plaća. Znači mi imamo jake dobre stručnjaka, IT stručnjaka u Hrvatskoj i to je, to je razlog evo što je i kompanija Cisco tu u Hrvatskoj, da su ostali tu, da nisu otišli negdje drugdje i mislimo da tu možemo biti stvarno konkurentni. I proračun koji ste spominjali, što možemo očekivati? Možete očekivati sve. Znači sve možete očekivati, znači a, želimo pokazati da možemo uštedjeti, ali s druge strane da treba investirati u nove tehnologije, znači to je, to je dvosmjeran proces. Hvala. Hvala.